ringing around to companies and writing letters and making phone calls, sending emails for, for months now. And I rang a company and this lovely lady put me on to Steve Roundtree. Today I'm going to go over and tell them exactly what I want. They're prepared to lend me their articulated lorry so I can put um, a piece of vinyl artwork on the truck. Part of the project is that I'm going to be filmed and followed. Saturday morning, um, guys have been here since about 6, 6.30. Um, some of them do a few deliveries today but most of them give their trucks a good old clean and get themselves ready for, for Monday. Um, so I'd go chill out over the weekend. Don't blame them. They work long hours, these, these guys do. Early, early mornings, late nights. What do you drive? The black one. Oh, you've got the sexy one. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do now is, is get a few of my final bits of artwork out and show the guys. To design the artwork, I'm going to follow them around and just get to know the guys and get to know where they're at and start to develop a relationship with them, which hopefully the, the artwork will come out of that. We see huge lorries every day driving past, we get stuck behind them on A roads trying to overtake them, we pass them you know, trudging along on, on motorways, they're kind of very much part of our everyday life. Alicia to have chosen that as her kind of her, her medium as it, as it were um, I think it's really quite interesting and will be quite fascinating to a lot of people how she's worked with the, that as a kind of raw material. What I'm trying to do with the side of the truck is something that you don't really see at all and I'm developing a line drawing made from reflective materials, class two, reflective class two and it's used in road signs and safety signs. The kind of ethos of our gallery here at the Leisure Centre is that we're making contemporary visual art accessible to a wide audience. When I first met Alicia, having um, and she heard about her project, we sat down together. I talked a bit about what the gallery was about, and Alicia introduced me to her work and this project in particular. And I think quite immediately we kind of clicked and kind of sparked off each other in terms of what we were doing. Initially I wanted a hard sided vehicle but part of me does actually prefer these curtains. I think it links with my textile background and the fact that I've always painted or applied stuff to moving fabric. As a woman, I enjoy working in these very male, dirty situations and as an artist, I think it's a fantastic way for me to just drop in on different people's working lives and I can watch people and meet people. Do you, um, have you got any paintings up on your wall at home? Yeah, lorries. Fantastic! <laughs> fantastic! I really like all the bolts and the mechanics and the tyres and the exhausts and the dirt and the shapes. I tend to see things from a slightly different perspective. Um, so I've been doing a lot of sketching underneath, trying to take different angles and getting the truckers to recognise really what I'm doing. I've also been photographing the whole truck um, trying to give some scale and some sort of massiveness to, to the size of these things. And I'm very interested in um, the men themselves and, and what type of personality you need to have and, and, and how disciplined really you have to be to be a truck driver. sit inside them 
they're beautiful and quiet and comfortable and they feel really luxurious, quite safe. The way that the drivers manoeuvre them is just so skillful yet so delicate. And it's it's that delicate against the, the, the massiveness and the weight and the intimidation of the lorries that I'm trying to to cross and, and bring into the artwork. even more fascinating for me this um, this idea that that Steve worked with breeze blocks and um, you know in the quarry industry and the stone industry I've got that in my family already my granddad worked for the quarries some chucks bear no image and I'm quite interested in using this as what's generally termed as an advertisement space as a space for a piece of artwork. So it's public art, it's out there and it's moving and it's meeting people. The truck is two and a half metres tall by 13 and a half metres long. The sheer scale of the truck that's going to be here, which I can't kind of quite imagine it's going to be here and kind of taking up probably about eight or nine of our parking spaces over there. I think that's really exciting. And I think with so many visitors and people in Stratford that that is going to be really noticed. The issues that we've got to deal with are, are there actually new issues we haven't had to deal with before. So we've just been earlier kind of mapping out areas of the car park to see whether the lorry will actually fit. It's going to be a line drawing. I'm very interested in um, sort of detail captured and a very fine line. I'd quite like to do something abstract and a bit more kind of way out, but. The whole point about this project is selling the concept of art on trucks and I want it to be for everybody. I really started experimenting with vinyl as a result of working at the Neat Designs six years down the line. They, they continue to, to support me you know, as an artist. This is the plotting machine and um, my drawing on the computer it's fed into this machine so this machine will draw my drawing same scale as the truck so what we're going to be doing now is um, i'm finding a local school or sports hall or gym to lay the curtains out for two weeks to apply the artwork i've kept it quite traditional really and also, you know, working with the truck drivers as well and discovering what they like about their job and what, what they feel about art. This word landscape cropped up, you know, the landscapes of the, the rural areas where they travel and work. Um, this material is reflective and I've ordered five mil lines to be cut and, and this machine cuts them for me so I can actually peel off an individual line from this sheet now. Because I haven't done a project that's this complicated just using line it's very difficult to estimate how much I'm going to need but it's such expensive material that you know I can't afford to make a mistake with it so we're just taking it quite tentatively this first couple of days. Using that vinyl like a pencil kind of quite sensitively and then to have the other dimension that with different light and different kind of um, light effects that will change I think is is really exciting. So what I wanted to do with the portrait side of the artwork was to bring the men together but show their individuality. So it's trying to couple the driver's personalities and their skills as a driver and the discipline they need to, to do this job along with what makes up a truck and how that all works together.
great to see up oh, finally. It's the first time I've seen the six guys together because the room was quite small that I worked in, so I could only see four at a time. So yeah, it's been quite nerve-wracking waiting for this to go up today, but yeah, it looks good. It's great to see the guys I've been working with, um, two metres tall and kind of looking down on us from their, from their driver's seats. The important thing about this lorry is that it's a lorry full of breeze blocks. And it's the breeze blocks and the landscape that link the piece together with the truckers. I think what's really good about Alicia's project is how it's going to appeal to so many different types of people. I think it's kind of quirky nature of it actually, I mean in a sense, making a canvas or using the size of a lorry as a huge canvas is immediately appealing and quite fascinating to people. Does this have to be a space for an advert or can it, can it say something about the world, can it say something about the drivers? Can it make your journey far more interesting, um, uplift you some way? I didn't know what to expect really. It was uh, quite an eye opener. I must have when I saw it when it was in the yard. Yeah, even though we don't all look like we should be on wanted posters, I suppose. But I don't know, you know, have you seen these men? <laughs> but uh, yeah, very good, very good indeed. Yeah, it's good, superb, absolutely excellent. Spot on really, isn't it? It's brilliant to actually see all the art here and to see how she actually created it. It's been absolutely fantastic, it's been a great success because there's been so many more people involved and I've really integrated the truckers into this and all their families. Um, I think the project's really good. I think it's a really good use of, um, well, it's a good way of putting art outside of the traditional gallery context and uh, putting it on a truck is probably the best way you can do it in terms of lots of people seeing the work. As an artist, I think it's absolutely fantastic what she's done. There's something so wonderful about it being so simple in black and white. And it looks as if she's just stood there and done the drawing straight on it. And that's what's so vibrant about it. I'm really impressed with that, you know. A lot better than I thought it would be. And I mean, I hope to see loads more of it all over the place, all over the motorways. The great thing about having trucks out on the roads is that people don't even have to go to an art gallery to experience art. They're going to come up on it by chance.